Today, I'll show you how to do your Wazir X Crypto Taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about Wazir X and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, then I'll jump into the integration, which is really straightforward. And then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation, depending on which part of the world you're from. And then lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources down below for you to check out. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this platform is based out of India and was founded in 2017. It's one of the largest exchanges in India. So very popular there. They don't have a lot of crazy features. They don't have a lot of tokens, but they do have a very nice um, trading section and they do have a really nice uh, user interface, which I really enjoy. So let me know if you know, you're know you using this platform and where you're from specifically, but it's a really big and popular platform out of India. So the first step to getting your um, information into Coinly, go into the wallets area and click on um, add wallet. Then we're going to type in Wazir X and there it is keep in mind also if you don't have a coinly account no worries you can create one it's completely free to sign up so um, follow along until you're ready to get a plan so anyways they do have api and they do have an import from file option so let's start off with the api there's one small caveat here it's open orders may potentially uh maybe partially imported so what does that mean well it means that you should double check and make sure that all your um, open orders are imported correctly or alternatively you can go down the csv route which i think is a little bit easier for this platform um, but yeah regardless i'll show you how to get the api from from their website so on their website in the top right corner you have a little profile icon you're going to click on that and then from there we're going to click on account settings and scroll all the way down to api key manager and then from here, we're gonna click create a new API key. We can call it something like Coinly. And then we're gonna provide our authentication number, which uh, right now is going to be this. So once we have that, we're gonna get an email as well, um, making sure also to click that before we get our API key. So after all of that, we finally have everything here. So here is our API key. Make sure to copy and paste that there. Here is our secret make sure to copy and paste that there. As you can see, the permissions are set to read only. Um, so make sure that stays that way. And then we're gonna, click, um, we're gonna click on secure import. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. So that's one route you can take to get your information loaded into Coinly. Another one is through CSV files. So once again, we're gonna find our wallet. And this time we're gonna click on import from file. And this time in our account settings, we're actually gonna go into our uh, download reports area. And then from the drop down menu here, we click um, trading history. And you know, obviously, it will depend for how long you would like to do um, your history. You, you want to import your entire trading history because Coinlink needs that to calculate your capital gains and losses. So um, you might need actually two different files. As you can see, I'm currently only going to do one. So I'll do the financial year uh, 2021 to 2022. And then I'm going to make sure all of these are selected before I click request trading report. So once you have that trading report, take it, drag and drop it into Coinly and click import. And there you have it. It's another route to getting your data into Coinly. Once that data has been imported to Coinly, go into the transactions area to see underneath the hood, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Obviously also make sure that if you have any staking, that that stuff is tagged correctly. So you have your staking transactions tagged as sent to pool, sent from pool, and once everything looks good there, go into your tax reports area for one final summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. So your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses. And then lastly, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before, you have plenty of different tax documentation. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have uh, reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, uh, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant, and they will combine that document with other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. And lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. 
But that about does it for today's video. If you need further assistance, no worries. We have plenty of different resources which are gonna be linked down below. Starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section if you'd like to send us a message directly, we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.